Hi, Sarah. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Hi, I'm good, thank you. How are you? Congratulations. This is incredible. You know, something like that that really could have just utterly destroyed your life. And yet, somehow, from something so dark, you got something so positive. I don't know how you do that. I think my mother is my inspiration. Right. Um, I have a wonderful family. Uh, my husband, Christopher, uh, my twin sister, Victoria. We're, we work as a team. Right. And um, so I've got lots of wonderful people behind me and I think that's what's so important. I feel very lucky. That's really good. That's a brilliant way to look at it. It really is. To, to remember your mum, you know, in, in such a wonderful way. You know, her name is kept alive by her what name you're is doing. Kept alive. She was a very busy, helpful, kind sort of person. It's, right. She was always doing things for people. And it was so awful when she died like that. But we... Victoria and I felt very strongly she needed to carry on with her work. Right. You know. Yeah, that makes sense. That's a real good legacy as well, isn't it? And your little girl, what an amazing kid she is. Yeah. She's just not let anything stop her at all. No, not at all. She never, ever complains about her leg. Almost to the point when I don't know if there's anything wrong because she won't tell me. Mm. She's got millions of friends. She loves school. She loves dancing. She's very, very happy. She loves dancing and she loves playing sport. I mean, it's absolutely incredible. And you say, look at that. Yeah, she can do walkovers. I but mean, look at this. That's a She's not even got her leg on she, there. She found that herself and put it on YouTube and got about 35,000 followers. <laughs> and look, I love this. That's amazing. Because her sense of balance and elegance yeah. is just, I mean, that's so elegant and graceful. Because for a long time, sometimes it, child amputees, people don't know, the bone can grow out of the end of the stump. So periodically, Pollyanna does have to go and have operations. Ooh. But around the operation, for a couple of months beforehand and a couple of months afterwards, she often can't walk. Right. So for that, for example, when she started secondary school, she was in a wheelchair for the entire first term. God, I but didn't they were going to put speed restrictions around the school because she was going so fast in her wheelchair. <laughs> That's Pollyanna for you. She sounds fantastic. She really does. I had no idea that happened, but of course it does because their bones are still growing. Yes. Unlike adults. Yes. Oh, and it didn't realise that they had to do no, that. No, it can be very, work. very bad. So our charity, um, Elizabeth's Legacy of Hope, named in memory of my mother, we try and give prosthetic limbs to children in developing countries. Yes. Because their lives are so heartbreakingly terrible mm. without... I cannot imagine Pollyanna not being given a leg. I know, it's terrible. 